The main difference between automat mode and advanced mode is that automat mode only works when the SL is connected to a computer and the automat software is running, whereas advanced mode works away from a computer in any MIDI application. If you want to use the SL to control any VST, AU or Pro Tools plugins, or a whole host of DAW's mixers such as Cubase, Uendo, Logic, Pro Tools, Sonar, Reaper and Traction, then you need never come out of automat mode. If, however, you want to control some software or hardware that can't be controlled using Automap, using either an onboard factory template or by manually configuring the hardware yourself, then advanced mode is the one to use. The only small crossover is if you use Live or Reason. These applications have their own special templates found in advanced mode that have all the same benefits of Automap but don't work from within Automap mode itself. Instead, the hardware communicates directly with the DAW. So if you use Live or Reason, don't be alarmed if you're controlling your DAW and Automap mode is inactive. In Automap mode, the SL waits for the Automap software to be loaded on your computer, as the hardware does nothing without it. This software loads automatically when you open your DAW, once Automap has been installed, so you never need to worry about loading it up yourself. Once loaded, any connected SL hardware locks directly to it, with the LCD telling you how many clients, such as Automap plugins, or DAW set up with Automap that you have open. The software has a transparent heads-up GUI, or graphical user interface, that shows you all the information you need to set up and use Automap. You can make this window appear and disappear using the view button on the hardware, and it can be resized and the transparency changed. The startup mode for the GUI offers you all the main options you might want, such as opening the plugin manager, where you can select different plugins to Automap, opening a DAW setup guide, explaining the Automap technology in terms, or linking to the website to update or for more help. As soon as you open a plugin you've Automap enabled using the plugin manager, the SL maps to it, with no setup in your DAW required. The DAW setup is for Mixer only. The GUI then switches to the main mode, control map view, where you can see which plugin parameters are currently mapped, as well as edit them. If there are multiple pages of assigned parameters, then you can step through them using the page up and down buttons. Lastly, if you have multiple plugins open, you can use the four control map group buttons here to select a different plugin for control. Pressing a group such as inst activates browser view mode on the GUI, where you can see all the instrument plugins currently open, and select them either using the mouse or with the SL's touch-sensitive controls and LCD screen. Once you've set up your DAW for Automap, a mixer control map is created and placed in the mixer group, so you can access it at any time by pressing the mixer button. This allows you to use the SL to control the DAW's mixer, and, should you want to, use Learn mode to reassign areas of the mixer to other controls on the SL. Then, when you want to switch to controlling a plugin, you just hit another group button like FX, then select the plugin. For more information on Automap, watch the generic or DAW specific Automap 3 movies. Advanced mode works totally differently from Automap mode. Once out of Automap mode, there are 32 templates to choose from, most of which have been pre assigned to work with popular hardware or software that isn't compatible with Automap. You select a template by pressing the central encoder and then using the buttons or rotaries below the LCD. So to activate the virus template, I just press this button or touch this encoder. You can now see that all the controls have been assigned to those of the virus. The big difference between this mode is that when I rotate a control, the MIDI data assigned to it is sent out of the MIDI ports and down the USB cable, rather than being sent from the Automap software running on your computer, as in Automap mode. And similarly, if I want to edit the data being sent, then unlike in Automap mode, where I'd use the GUI and Learn mode, I have to edit the control manually on the hardware, using edit mode.